the fair winds blow Our home is where the waters flow We'll show you what we've come to know On board while sailing wisdom it's a beautiful day, albeit a little bit chilly, but we're gonna go into Beaufort. Uh, we're anchored right across from one of the public docks, right across from the mooring balls. The mooring balls are in what used to be the anchorage. And unfortunately, now it's just covered in balls. <laughs> and each one costs $20 a night, which is a little steep for us. So we're happy to be anchored on the other side of the river. And uh, it's just a .3 mile dinghy ride in. We walked all over historic Beaufort today and had a really lovely time. Lots of people stopped us to talk about the birds. <laughs> and uh, we, met, we met some nice people. And now we're headed back to the boat. We're going to just kind of relax before going to the famous bar of Hemingway's tonight. We're gonna meet one of you. afternoon bike ride on the Spanish Moss Trail. It's an old railroad uh, that they've converted into a bike trail and it's really quite beautiful and relatively flat. So we had a nice time and now we're going to move the boat off the public pier. We're not allowed to be here overnight so uh, we're gonna come off and it was really worth it to pull in though. We met a lot of cool people who just came up to us, wanted to see our boat. And all in all, I just wanna say that Buford's been one of our favorite stops so far along the ICW. It's a really cute, quaint, beautiful southern town. And because we love it so much, we're opting to stay one more day. Tomorrow's weather isn't supposed to be really great, so it wouldn't be awesome to be doing the ICW making miles north anyway. We're gonna take that opportunity to just spend one more day here in Beaufort. Ah! <laughs> 
Only the whipped cream fell out. I got it. And, and, and that, keep it on its side because the bag went into the water. Okay. And the sandwiches are only in paper. Keep it on its side. It's on its side. I just can't peek out. I, I just can't resist these kinds of things. So, this is our newest crew member. Okay. So, I took a little trip to shore. I got some books for myself and I got some sandwiches and some milkshakes. Yesterday we had a great ending to our time in Beaufort. We went to the Old Bull Tavern. It was St. Patrick's Day, which we didn't even know <laughs> until we got to shore. Um, and we just had a fabulous meal. We've kind of been striking out with meals here in Beaufort and last night was amazing. So this morning we are picking up anchor and we are headed to our next destination. We're not gonna make it today, but we are headed towards Charleston and we're really excited for Charleston because we actually did go there on our way down um, years ago and it was one of our favorite stops along the ICW. Beaufort was amazing. I recommend it to everybody going up and down the ICW and uh, we're ready to move on. So we're actually gonna sail today, which is exciting, and we'll see how far we get. There's gonna be another sailing vessel going through at once. Okay, try the guy on the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> Bridge, Lady Island Bridge, Lady Island Bridge. This is Sailing Vessel Wisdom. This is Lady Island out here. Lady Island Bridge, I'd like to request your one o'clock opening if it's available. 10-4, Captain. Can I have the name of your vessel in home port? Yes, the name is Wisdom, and the home port is Baltimore, Maryland. 10-4, Captain. I'll get that opening for you at one o'clock. Lady Island Bridge, standing by on June 9th. Thank you very much. Awesome meeting Woody down here because when I first bought this boat 10 years ago I lived in Henderson's Wharf in Baltimore and I met him and every winter he'd head south down to Florida enjoy Florida in the winter and then in the summer he or spring he'd come back up and be in Maryland for the summer that's my my little personal goal checked off meet Woody in his migratory place <laughs>
We're going four knots completely under sail. It's almost as if we're a sailboat that sails and goes fast. set under sail. So that's how we set our anchor without an engine. Just keep the sails up, sail over it, chain goes real tight. It stops the boat, the boat spins around, you know the anchor's set. Okay, we made it. We did 25 miles. And the awesome part is we barely used the batteries because we had such good wind. We were sailing the whole way. It was, it was like good old times. I missed that. So we're here. We made it. And all of a sudden, the clear, pretty blue skies we had, they're gone. So while we were coming in, the a front started rolling in. And the clouds have changed. And it's now looking pretty nasty. So we anchored where we got plenty of swing room. So wherever the winds are going to be coming from, we'll be good. We got plenty of chain out, even for high tide, because an eight-foot tide here and a snubber. So we are fully set and ready for whatever is going to come. The rain came. And it's lots of wind, lots of rain, and really, really nasty. And the hilarious part is I looked up on the internet to see what's the weather right now. And it's supposed to be sunny until three hours from now. In three hours, it will begin raining. But right now is clear blue skies, sunny, and light winds. Yes, forecast, they're very, very accurate. Making a kale salad for dinner so that we can be nice and healthy after eating lots of delicious but unhealthy foods in Beaufort. Well, it's super windy outside and gross and stormy, but we've got kale salad and canned salmon and feta cheese, and it's delicious. Yes, good boy. You enjoyed your can of salmon. Good. Okay, so we're anchored. We have an insane wind over current situation, but ironically, the boat is hove to and we're generating a slick so if you've been wondering hey what's a slick look like when you're hove to this is it all right so you have that area it's just disturbed water that's coming out from next to the boat and that's that's what the slick is so the keel disturbs the water the water goes out you're good and it's going to windward so here we have the wind pushing us this way and the current going that way and that's why we're generating a slick right now. But it's the same thing. So when you heave to, that's the thing that you want to see form and you want to have it directly next to your boat just going to windward. If it's going like kind of off towards your stern, then you're fore reaching and you're not gaining the benefits of your slick. So then you want to stop your fore reaching motion by reducing sail even further and then you'll stop and then you'll start drifting laterally through the water and be hove too. Thanks for watching this episode of Sailing Wisdom. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next Rigging Doctor episode. And if you're interested in even more Rigging Doctor awesomeness, consider becoming a patron to see all of our extras. Can't wait to see you next time as you join us out here on the high seas.